let's add an item with an item texture and a 3D model. New topics added to the Forge and Fabric courses such as tameable and writable entities, projectiles, throwable projectiles and boats, as well as first steps to biomes and dimensions. Courses linked in the description below. Alright, we found this back in Intelligent once more and in this tutorial we're going to be adding a custom item that has a texture inside of the inventory but it has an item model when you hold it in your hand. Basically the same idea that the spyglass has and you know what, you're going to find that this is actually fairly straightforward, all things considered. Now for this we're going to be using a custom item model here from Blockbench. If you don't have anything with Blockbench, there's a great tutorial that I have on how you can use this to make an item model. The Blockbench file for this one will also be available as well as all of the rest, of course, on the GitHub repository. And when you have this, when you want to go to export and export block item model, that's going to export a JSON file. We're going to call this the sapphire underscore staff underscore 3D. I already have that, so I'm going to replace this. There you go. And you also want to make sure to save the texture over here. Just right click on this save as. And I also already have that, so we're going to replace that as well. And there we go that should be fine and once we have this we can then proceed to IntelliJ and actually add the item so this is going to be under mod items of course we're just going to duplicate the strawberry over here this is going to be the sapphire underscore staff and of course changing the name here sapphire underscore staff and this is going to be a normal item with no full properties here in this case but we will have a property and that is the stacks to one because in this case it's going to be a staff. Let's immediately add this to the creative mode tab as well. That's going to be the sapphire staff and now the JSON files are actually going to be in our custom resources folder over here again. They are pretty specific so in the tutorial mode folder we're going to recreate the models folder and then we're going to recreate the item folder. And inside of here, we're going to need a couple of things. The first one is going to be a new file. That's the sapphire underscore staff.json. We can duplicate this to make the sapphire underscore staff underscore 2d.json. Now the 2d JSON is actually fairly straightforward. I'm just going to copy this over. You can see it has a parent of handheld and then just points to a normal item texture. That is the item texture that will be normally displayed inside of the inventory. So we've seen the contents like this plenty of times now already. So this is going to be the 2D staff over here. So this is going to be the normal sapphire underscore staff PNG. The sapphire underscore staff 3D PNG we will also add to this folder over here. That is the texture that is being used for the 3D staff. And that JSON file we will copy over as well. Remember, this is the JSON file that we've exported from Blockbench. And here it's very important that we change the texture over here to tutorial mod colon item slash and then the name of the 3D texture. Very important that we change this. Otherwise, it will not work. And then the only thing that is still a mystery here is the Sapphire JSON. And that one looks as follows. We're going to have a parent over here. And we're going to have this Minecraft colon item slash handheld. All of the contents here are, of course, available in the GitHub repository. So if you don't want to type this out, you can also just look there. This is going to be the loader. And this is going to be forge colon separate transforms. Extremely important that we write all of this correctly. We're going to have a base. The base here is going to be parent tutorial mod colon item slash sapphire underscore staff underscore 3D. So this is the way that this is going to be shown when you hold this in your hand. And then we're going to also get perspectives. And those perspectives are going to change depending on where we are. So in the GUI, we're going to actually have a different parent. And that parent is going to be tutorial mod colon item slash sapphire underscore staff underscore 2D. And then what we can do is we can just duplicate the GUI here two times. And then this is going to be the ground. And this is going to be fixed over here as well. And this way, the 2D texture is going to be taken, or rather, the 2D item model is going to be taken for the GUI, the ground, and the fixed perspective. Another time, the 3D item model is going to be taken, basically going to make it so that when you hold it in your hand, like in 3D, it's going to look 3D, and in the GUI and the ground and fixed, it's going to look 2D. Quickly added the translation here as well, and that is actually everything that we're going to need. Most of the heavy lifting here is done via the JSON file, right, via the custom loader over here. And the rest basically is going to work. So we can literally just jump into the game and see if it works. All right, finally, us back in Minecraft. As you can see, the Sapphire staff has been successfully added to the game. And if I put it in my hand, there we go. We have the 3D model inside of our hand while we have a 2D texture. So this is exactly how it works with a spyglass, for example. That's how easy it can be to add that. And that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll add a custom tool set. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.